Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'll show you my brand new free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency, and also decreases your input delay. It also has more benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless files on your PC, which just take up your storage. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. These are basically better and more advanced versions of this one. This is just very basic. This one has about 75 tweaks and my premium one has over 375. So there's a massive difference between them. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and Discord server. So just check them out. Now let's just start the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is join my Discord server. There's a link in the description or you could just uh, search up discord.gg slash exm in your browser. Then go to the free tweak section right here and uh, you can see free tweaking utility version 1.3. If there's already a new version out, just use that one. And if you get this video to 750 likes, I'll drop 1.4. Let's just go download it. Uh, so here you go. All right, so when you're in the drive, just right click on it, press download. And it may say that this file is dangerous, but this is just because it's a batch file and it ch does changes to your PC's registry. So it may get classified for this, but trust me, it's completely safe. You can put it into any antivirus and also here press download unverified file. This is for the same reason. And you can see that I have it downloaded right here. And if I just, for example, go to virustotal.com and I just drag it in, you can see that uh, it's zero out of 60 all undetected. Trust me, you can also view the code if you just right click on it and press edit. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna reassure you guys that it's safe. So you want to run this as admin, make sure to do this or it won't apply the tweaks properly. So right click on it, run as, ad as admin and it will make a restore point. So I'm just gonna uh, skip to when the restore point is finished. All right, so after that, it puts you in the menu and you can see you have 20 options. So first, you just press one and enter and it will do a bunch of tweaks. And this is how the utility works. I'm just gonna try to make this video as short as possible. All right, so it just finished uh, the first section. And uh, yeah, so after that we have power tweaks, which if you have a PC which has really bad overheating issues, then don't do these. But other than that, I recommend doing them since these will increase your performance a lot. So just press two enter and yeah. So it imported my free power plant. So here you can select it and use it. But I'm just gonna use my premium power plant since it's a lot better. And you can delete all other power plants which you don't need. So after that we have optimized window settings. Uh, one thing, when it shows an error like this, uh, you shouldn't be worried. This is just because I already have the thing disabled. After that, we have clean, which I'm just gonna let this run. Just press four, enter, and this will delete a bunch of temporary files. I'm gonna skip to when it's finished. All right. So after that, we have uninstall useless apps, which this will uninstall a bunch of useless pre-installed Windows apps, which just take up your storage. Uh, just press five, enter, and I'm again just gonna skip to when it's finished. All right, so it just finished. After that, we have auto runs apps. So here, press six, enter, and this will auto open this application. So make sure you go to logon section. And here you basically disable all of the useless services which start up when you turn on your PC. So I recommend disabling everything except the NA file, CMD, your antivirus. So I use asset personally, uh, shout out asset. And yeah. Uh, this is how it should look. You should have Discord, Epic Games Launcher, etc. disabled. And yeah, then you can just simply close it. It's finished. After that, we have NVIDIA GPU tweaks. So just press 7, enter. And this will import my NVIDIA Profile Inspector profile, which optimizes NVIDIA Control Panel settings. And uh, this will also optimize other things. Boom. After that, we have AMD and Intel GPU tweaks, which these, uh, you don't have to do anything on them. Uh, just only do NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel GPU tweaks if you have uh, the certain... S so only do the GPU tweak section of your s GPU. If you don't know what GPU you have, just go to Task Manager, Performance, and you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. And so I only have to do NVIDIA tweaks. But if you have like a Radeon, do AMD, and if you have a Intel GPU, just do Intel. You know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so after that we have CPU tweaks, which you just press 10, it will do it. After that uh, we have a USB tweaks, just do this, and I'm gonna skip to when it's finished, boom. After that we have uh, disable telemetry, again, 
pretty simple. Alright, so after that we have high priority for games, so just press 13. And here you can select a game which will be prioritized with your CPU. So you can select multiple of course, and simply just press 1 and enter. And if you get FPS drops, which there's a slight chance that some people might get FPS drops, or you can just revert all of them. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna select Fortnite. Boom. Of course you can... Uh, but yeah, after that we have mouse and keyboard which this will disable filter keys, sticky keys, and also adjust a bunch of stuff, like disable mouse acceleration, and yeah. It's gonna soon open this menu where you can check high-end, mid-end, and low-end CPU. So this is mouse.iq size, and this basically makes your input uh, delay of your keyboard and mouse a lot lower. So basically just comment your CPU in the comment section, just reply with this, this right here. And I'll let you know if it's uh, low, high, or mid -end. Uh I have a high-end, so I'm just going to use high-end, and it will put me back in the menu. Alright, so after that, we have disable useless animations. This will just put you here, copy my settings, and then just press OK, and you're finished. After that, we have Windows Update Blocker. So this blocks Windows updates from turning on the background while you're playing. Uh, so here and just press disable updates. And if you ever want to update your windows, which I don't really recommend, only do it every few months, don't uh, do every single update, just keep it disabled and when you want to update it, just enable it. Simple as that, and you can exit out. After that, we have a device cleanup, which uh, just go here, press control A, and go to devices and remove selected. So this will remove temporary device data of devices that you don't have plugged in and you don't need. After that, we have RAM tweaks, which uh, this will tweak a bunch of. So after that, we have disable Cortana, which you just press 19, and this disables Cortana. Boom. And after that, we have disable mitigations, which this just disables a bunch of useless mitigations, which are kind of like security features, uh, but these ones which are disabled don't really do anything, or they are, aren't really useful. And they just decrease your performance, you know, so it's uh, worth it to disable them. All right, so that's everything for the utility. Make sure to restart your PC after using it. And if you want even better tweaks, which these are so much better, just press W and this will open my new website. By the way, check out the new website. I got this a few days ago. And yeah, uh, you can check out my premium and standard tweaking utilities over here. You can look at the reviews and everything and yeah. Also, if you want to revert all of the tweaks, just go to use a restore point, press R. And here, just press choose a different restore point and use the EXM restore point, press next and finish. And this will revert all of the tweaks. But yeah, that's everything uh, that you have to do. Just press exit. That's everything for today's video. See you guys in the next video. Get this video to 750 likes for the version 1.4. Love you guys. Bye.